move to return Loveland's 4th of July event and the Christmas in Loveland to the Chamber of Commerce. Ms. Bailey. Ms. Collins has been here more than once now trying to um, explain how she wants to work together with the city in all ways, including on these events. Uh, there's no question we lost money on these events. We have someone willing to run them, has run them well. There's no reason that the chamber cannot do that. If the city wants to be involved, fantastic, but it ought to be returned to the, both of them should be returned to the chamber. Ms. Ms. Bailey, I'm just curious, um, what kind of an event do you envision for the 4th of July? For our community. Whatever the chamber would like to put on. So if they want an event that is 15, 20,000 people, that's okay with you. That's never been said. That's never been said that's what's gonna happen. We're just talking in hypothetical. Okay. Um, if you'll give me some opportunities here. So you believe there'll be more people if the chamber wants it? What I'm saying is that their vision for a community event is not our vision of a community event. And I think that that has to be, I think that has to be talked about within council. So what is your decision to move it out of town, move it away from the chamber then? I could move anything. So the point is, is that, my point is, is that you have to look at the fact that what kind of an event and what do you want the event to look like, okay? And for instance, for the 4th of July, okay, it has been stated publicly, and Ms. Bealey, if you want to go and listen, go ahead. Ms. Collins, I appreciate the fact that you came up here. I appreciate the fact that your chamber is growing. I think that's wonderful, and I think that that should be your focus. I think that's terrific, and I wish you all the best. But the point is, is that, is that Ms. Collins went to the Sims Board of Trustees and told them that the event had outgrown downtown Loveland. That is not in dispute. And Ms. Bailey or anyone else who does not believe me, go to ICRC TV. I can actually give you the marker on it. It was on the April 5th, 2016. It's on ICRC TV. And she is asked about the 4th of July. She is asked about whether or not the city of Loveland knows about it. And she was she explained how the parade was gonna leave, you know, downtown Loveland and go up to Sims. She was specifically asked whether or not the, uh, and this is in April 5th, she was specifically asked whether Loveland and the officials knew about it. If you don't believe me, ICRC TV, one hour, 26 minutes, and 53 seconds is the start of her of her appearance. Go ahead and listen to it for yourself. You don't have to believe me, because clearly you don't. So the point is, is that also, prior to her appearance in front of the trustees, on March 16th, this is an email that Ms. Collins sent to not anyone in the city of Loveland, no one. She sent it to the trustees for Sims Township. Now you can sit there and think, oh, what we do, but it's a big deal. And the point is, is it sets. Keep in mind the date, March. I recently met with Jody and Lou Ann to discuss events. We look forward to promoting the, the current Sims events and helping to build on what you have. They seem like they are well received. As you may have known, Lubbock has had several large events with thousands of people. One of those events is our Firecracker 4th of July event, scheduled on July 3rd, 2016. This event has typically been hosted in downtown Loveland and has drawn thousands, 12,000 on the average each year. As you can imagine, this event is getting tighter in downtown Loveland and more complicated for them to host. We would like to have it at either Sims Park or home of the Brave Park. When I met with Jody, she seemed to think it would be a good fit. Ken was concerned about the time frame. We are not. This is a good example of why you brought us on. We would love any involvement you would offer, however we handle this event completely. So the point is, is that they want to grow their events, and I respect that. But the logistics here in Loveland, 
and the infrastructure here in Loveland does not fit an event of 10,000 or more people. It just simply won't work logistically for our infrastructure. And so for you to make a motion like that and then to dismiss it is, I'm sorry, I completely disagree with you. And in regards to the Christmas in Loveland, no one can steal events, okay? You can't steal something. Excuse me, you cannot steal something that does not belong to you, okay? The events belong to the community. These were community events. Cities all across the United States put on events, and they put on these events because it fits what they think the community wants and needs. And so I do not support your motion. Mr. Myers. The, the involvement of the chief. I'm sorry, is it growing in organization and I think that's very positive to legislate what type of involvement they should have I think that should be left up to staff and the chamber and not be a legislative issue and I don't that then all of a sudden we're going to be legislating every single activity that goes on and I mean that's overly burdensome I mean that should be something that the chamber and staff should work out and then bring the council if, if it's required it may not even be required so my point is to legislate it, I think it is physically burdensome in our environment. I think the Chamber's already um, contact Sims Township about having the fire department festival here. <laughs> they have. They have. Any further discussion? So on the roll, please. Vice Mayor Sattel. No. Yes. Mr. Zamayas. No. Ms. Bailey. Yes. Mayor Fitzgerald? No. Ms. Gross? No. Mr. Phelps? Yes. <laughs> is there any other discussion? Oh, excuse me, is there any other business coming? Sure. Sure.